Welcome to Guru Trader video for Thursday, May the 13th, 2010. Here's the four market movers that we're following today. Three new stocks, one follow-up. On the NASDAQ, new symbol, AUTH, Authentech Inc., 306, up 66. On the Amex, new symbol, XPO, Express Expedited Solutions Inc., 158, up 7. Also on the Amex, uh, following up on RPC, Radiant Pharmaceuticals, 135, up 37. And lastly, also on the Amex, uh, new symbol, CTT, Competitive Technologies Inc., 342, up 53. Let's take a closer look at these stocks. All right, you'll notice we only mentioned four stocks today. They're all on the U.S. side. No TSX Venture, Junior uh, Mining Stocks or Related Energy Stocks. Um, it, not unusual for a May. It's just that time of year they tend to run over the winter. It is a little bit unusual seeing gold at, at record highs. We were wondering if this May was going to be any different this year, but doesn't appear to be. Anyway, on the volume actors percentage gainers, it just doesn't appear that these stocks are responding well to news. Um, so uh, y that's why you, you'll see fewer of those names mentioned lately, unless they come back. Uh, they're just not showing up. But anyway, the, the stocks we are looking at, these four popped up today. This is a new one, AUTH on the NASDAQ, Authentech Inc., 306 up 66, up 27.5%, over 4 million shares traded, 91 million market cap, shows only 30 million shares outstanding. The 52-week high was 345, which it did on September the 8th of last year. It kind of went sideways between, I don't know, 220 and 270 for most of the year. It's popped out, so it's way up here now, so it's made a... Uh, a new 52-week high. The low, by the way, is 159, which did June 23rd last year. So we're mentioning it also because it broke that 52-week high and traded as high as 349 today. Now, they announced uh, yesterday uh, their first quarter 2010 financial results. Uh, let me see here. Consolidated revenues, 9.2 million up 30 percent. Comprised acquisition of Safe Nets Embedded Security Solutions Division. Um, awarded some design win. Um, they're still showing a loss, I believe, overall on a gap basis. Uh, the gap results here, right here, consolidated net loss for the first quarter of 2010 was 4.7 million. Um, they make, I think, embedded security solutions um, and sensors. Yeah, smart sensor solutions, um, smart sensor wireless market. So, I, so anyway. It popped up today on the volume actors, made a 52-week high on the percentage gainer. So for all those reasons we're mentioning it, we'll keep an eye on it. Looking at the five-year chart, you'll see this company's been around, looks like, since 2007. Has been as high as 15 bucks. Blew up at the end of 2008, um, well, with everything else with the market. And then it's kind of gone sideways since, but there's a gradual slope here. So maybe it's going to perk up. Um, but uh, And they, they put out news fairly regularly, so I'd, I'd, I'd call them and find out what they're up to, what kind of news flow to expect. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it and see if this is more than just a one-day blip. Um, on the Amex, new symbol XPO, Express Expedited Solutions Inc., 158, up 7, not even 5%, 1.8 million shares, 32 million shares outstanding, so it's not too top-heavy at all, 50 million market cap. 52-week high was $1.70, which it did on March 26, not that long ago, and it's kind of gone sideways and found good support here at 150. The low was 76 cents, which it did August the 5th. It's had a nice, gradually, almost 45-degree slope since then. Boring story. They're a, uh, I don't know if they're, they're not a, I was going to say it a trucking or an express shipping um, company, but they're actually more of a logistics company. Um, and if you look at their news yesterday, the XPO delivers 58% revenue growth. Um, operations increased 58% to 31.6 million compared to 21.1 million for the first quarter of 2009. Recently acquired LGR International Inc. So uh, let's see, their yeah, operating income has improved um, f from basically a small loss to 1.5 million or 3 cents per share, fully diluted net income. Uh, or operating income. Now, they're, they talk about their their different divisions and their plans here, but they, okay, about Express One, uh, non-asset based services organization fo focused on premium transportation through its business segments, Express One, Concert Group Logistics, Balance Logistics, focused on premium services that include same-day, time-sensitive transportation and domestic and international freight forwarding. They talk about their customers, etc. So a nice boring little story. If you're looking for something like that, look at the five-year chart. Looks like it's been around since 2006, and looks like this is an uh, an all-time high for the stock. So it's been trending up since 
really the second quarter of uh, 2009 and, and straight up but but gradual and not not very erratic either and uh, anyway its stock looks, looks like it's in uncharted territory and the volume's good so we'll keep an eye on that one and third um, this one's been mentioned uh, one time uh, we posted this one on May the 4th at a dollar twelve it's shown up many many times um, this this chart scared us it never made the final five or the final seven so we've never actually tweeted it before um, anyway, shows 29 million shares outstanding, 39 million market cap, 52 week high, 259, which it did on April the 12th, three tier. The low was 20 cents, which it did December 29th, had this big spike, and, uh, you know, we wanted to see, you know, if this would last. It seems to have supported here nicely at a dollar, and now there's, now it's perking up again. So that's why we're mentioning it. Um, 135 of 37, 37% move, over 8 million shares traded, like I said, out of only 29 million shares. And they, this Goldman small cap, um, they put out a, they're initiating coverage on the company. Um, they're, they're really, it's, it's a cancer trit. Uh, ca sorry, cancer kit. Um, they've been putting out news fairly regularly. Uh, announced collaboration agreement with Provista Life Sciences. Um, they, let's see, complete fourth quarter and final closing of convertible promissory note financing. Um, yeah, prestigious annual oncology conference. I think they were they were presenting at that. Uh, yeah, here it is. April 14th. Advantages of radiant pharmaceuticals. Oncosure in vitro diagnostic cancer test over CEA published in journal. So anyway, I'd look over that. It's a cancer kit. Uh, they're looking for different types of approvals and they talk about their advantages. But anyway, the stock's been active on a regular basis, so we're going to keep an eye on it basically for that reason alone. Um, this one here's a, a new one. CTT Competitive Tech Inc. 342 up 53 showed up on the percentage movers up 18 percent however it only traded 600,000 shares but that's a it's there's only 11 million shares outstanding so it's a 37 million dollar company the 52 week high was 310 so that's why we're mentioning it because it traded as high as 357 today the previous 52 week high was 310 on April the 21st right here sold off and then has come back it's made higher highs we like that higher highs higher lows March 22nd was the low of $1.24 so it's just started to move recently and it's already moved quite a way so keep that in mind um, this one came up a couple times we didn't mention it they make some medical device for tra pain treatment um, I'd read all those news it's not my area of expertise but yeah what's it say here competitive technologies to hold medical conference featuring Calmer pain therapy so they actually show a picture of it in here I believe yeah there's the device I guess I don't know if they have others um, they're going to present evidence-based patient treatment successes with Calmer pain therapy so anyway let's look at the five-year chart actually the ten-year chart shows the stock's been to fifteen before it seems to be perking up here so we'll, we'll continue to keep an eye on that one so do your homework trade safely we'll talk with you tomorrow Guru Trader videos and tweets are daily snapshots of five to seven very active small and microcap stocks from all North American stock exchanges. We simply track stocks that are trading up significantly on news or making new highs on very high volume without any further consideration of company fundamentals. The point is to save time by focusing on only those stocks that are moving right now. Guru Trader symbols come from filtering market movers and from subjective observations. Our software cross-references today's volume actives, percent gainers, and dollar gainers, which are filtered down to just lower price stocks. We then look at each stock's charts for apparent uptrends, and news headlines for obvious one-day-only events to exclude, like a buyout, or for longer-term growth-related news like financials, drill results, patent approvals, etc., to include. This is similar to how many traders look for new stocks as a starting point for further research with their financial and investment advisors. This is not an advisory service, and conflicts may exist as we sometimes take positions, or featured stocks may have bought online advertising or IR support services. Any content published by Investors Guru Small Cap Stock Observer is subject to the terms of our privacy policy and disclaimer at InvestorsGuru.com. For our other small cap stock channels, follow Twitter's Guru Trader Tweet in real time on your PC or mobile device at twitter.com slash investorsguru. Subscribe to watch YouTube's Investors Guru video channel at youtube.com slash investorsguru. Search, to, search Investors Guru at facebook.com and add us as a friend to see our videos, tweets, etc. that are all synced to post on our wall. It's free to sign up at InvestorsGuru.com stock community for comprehensive quotes, newsletters, profiles, forums, etc., or to update your portfolio, watch list, alerts, and news by email preferences. Thanks for watching.